Hi everyone. Today I would like to show you Pirate Ship, which is the new service that I'm using to use shipping labels. I was using Shippo. I changed from Shippo because Shippo has started to charge for the use of the service. Once you get to 30 labels a month, they charge you a fee. And there's no reason to do that if Pirate Ship is not charging. So let's go on over to Pirate Ship and I'll show you how it's set up. This is the Pirate Ship homepage. And if you have a login, obviously you log in here, you can create a free account here. It is a free account. The prices that they have are very similar to other services. So if you have specific package sizes that you ship a lot, you should shop around to see what's going to be cheapest. It might be cheapest to use a different service if the rates, even if you're paying a fee, even if the rates kind of you know even out, you're going to have to check that for yourself. The rates that I pay are similar across all platforms. So the cost of buying it on Etsy is not necessarily cheaper or more expensive than Pirate Ship. But the reason that I use an outside source as opposed to Etsy labels is because I use my credit card and I get points back on my credit card. So it's just kind of an additional discount on the label every time I buy a shipping label. And it does add up. Obviously, if you don't have an account, you need to create your account, but I'm just going to go ahead and log in. And this is, now I am going to block out a lot of this information because this is customer information and y'all don't need to see that. But when you get into this, um, it, it's going to have this screen. I think this is the first screen that comes up. And this is all the labels on the left. It's all the labels that you've purchased with the name and the tracking number. And this actually shows you at a glance what the status is. So that's nice. And if you scroll down here, I was scrolling down and looking and one of them, this says delivered. This says 25% delivered. I was like, what does that mean? But that is an import from Etsy. So if you import your list from Etsy, it will you know, like take all of them at once. And then you don't have to, you know, you don't have to do them individually. And you can import from different services. So let's look at that. If, if you can integrate your... Um, selling platform with pirate ship it's a lot easier but if you can't then you can just do create a single label or you can upload a spreadsheet so that's possible if you have a lot of sales on your website and they don't integrate with pirate ship you can't upload a spreadsheet at this point they don't upload they don't integrate with go imagine and they don't integrate with my website of course so I'm just doing them one by one it's not a big deal and they actually do have a paste function that I'll show you and it makes it pretty fast so it's not, it's not a big deal. You just have to go and fulfill it on the other end because with Etsy, since it's connected, it will send the tracking numbers directly to Etsy and you don't have to do anything once you buy the label on Pirate Ship. So to get to the integrations, go to settings over here on the left and you're going to go down to integrations. Okay, integrations will let you see what you have connected. I only have my Etsy shop connected. I think you can only connect one Etsy shop, although I could be wrong about that. You might have to be signed into your other Etsy shop and, and pull that in, but I'm not sure. Usually they connect with one, but you could try it. I don't know. Um, my other Etsy shop is digital, so I wouldn't be sending anything from that. But these are some of the sources that they do. They have a Shopify integration. They have Squarespace. They have Equid. They have eBay. So there's a lot of, they have WooCommerce if you have a, a, a WordPress website. There's a lot of services that they do integrate with, and they will pull that information of your orders directly from there into Pirate Ship, and you can just buy the labels without going back and forth. Now, the one thing I would say is to make sure that you're sending the priority and that kind of thing, because I don't know that they show that choice on Pirate Ship. So you do need to check to see, I go through and say, okay, who's bought something that's priority? I'll buy those labels first and get those out of the way. And then I look to see if there's different size boxes and that kind of thing. But I do that on Etsy just to make sure I'm not making a mistake. But once you're done with that, go on over to the ship page and you can just click import from Etsy. And what this will do is it pulls in all the orders that I have sitting there waiting. And again, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to cut off all of this information because y'all don't need to see that. But this is, this is so easy. And when you get a service that integrates with the platform, if you get a lot, I, I would integrate with the platform that you get the most sales on. It just makes it faster. And what you do is, let's say that I want to just buy this one package. I would click get rates. It would show me all of this stuff. It would show me the suggested packages. And because I've bought this these labels before, it's showing me the package details already. And I can change that by clicking here and choosing a different one that I have used in the past. And you can always go back to the previous step if you need to do that. 
If you need to send the same size box, but you need to change the weight, you can leave this here and then click modify package. And then this box, this pops up, you can change the weight. Like let's say it's six ounces instead of four. I could change that here. And then you can buy this kind of stuff. And then you click get rates and it will tell you the rates. Okay, I've gone back to the last step. I will go ahead and, and buy this. Hmm. Let's show what happens when you buy a lot of them at once. Okay, so this one and this one, I'll just buy two, okay? Because that, that will show you the actual screen instead of them suggesting a package because they don't know if both packages are the same. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to click on, and this is probably underneath my thing. It says get rates for two labels. It's at the top right. I'm gonna click that and this is the screen that should come up. So you can either use the saved package details, which is what showed in the first screen. And they were just guessing what was the most logical. So I will choose that. And then you click get rates. And this is where, if you have to wait a while, they tell you a little pirate joke down here. The fish are gonna tell you a pirate joke. Okay, the answer to that one, it was, what did the ocean say to the pirate? And the other fish says, nothing, it just waved. It's dad jokes about pirates, okay. So then it'll tell you this, and it'll tell you this is this is what you need to watch out for, okay? Sometimes you have this sorted by best, and what they determine is best, I don't know if that's fastest, I don't know if it's cheapest, I don't know. But if you do USPS, if you do UPS, that's going to change it. So just make sure that this here is set to the whatever you want. I have it always set to cheapest because, you know, that's pretty much USPS for me and for what I'm sending first class. But you do need to kind of watch to see what they're selling you because sometimes people say that they're selling you something super expensive. It might be set to UPS because that's usually more expensive for what I send. I don't know. Just make sure that you're looking at the right thing. If you need to change this to priority, you can click here and just go down here and change the rate or you know whatever you want to do. And then to finish the purchase, you just click buy labels. And I'm going to say cancel and delete labels because I actually don't want to do that right now. I'm going to do those tomorrow on Monday when it's time to actually mail things. But that's how the Etsy integration works. And that's how it would work for other platforms. And like I said, you do want to just make sure... And see, I don't know what this is gift. Um, I don't, people don't buy gifts for me. I, I don't know that they are going to tell you anywhere on here that it's a priority package or it was priority express. So you just have to kind of go on Etsy and, and see ahead of time what the customer wanted. And that's, that's the one thing you need to make sure that you're checking that. Now, let's say that you have a service that doesn't integrate. Let's say I have a, a, order on Go Imagine or my website, okay? What I would do is go over to ship and then you can either click here single or create a single label or you could upload a spreadsheet. I just think it's faster to create a single label. So let's do this. Let's pretend that it's my email, okay? Kara at a .com. Okay, now you can copy and paste this. Okay, so copy and paste the email into here just so that the customer will get a notification if Pirate Ship sends that. But then you don't have to copy and paste everything here. Just click paste address, copy the address on the order and paste it in here and it will populate it. And this is clearly not my address, but if you are of a certain age, you'll know what 90210 was. And it will paste the whole thing down here in the address forms. Okay, so that's all you need to do. And then you scroll down here and go through the whole process again and get the rates and send the package. So it's pretty quick. And the only thing you need to understand and to remember to do is to copy the tracking number that comes with this and go paste it into your website or into Go Imagine and complete the order there and just mark it complete, mark it, you know, processed, whatever the terminology they use. And settings, I think in settings, you can add boxes. You have to set this up for four by six labels the label file type, uh, gift messages. I don't need a gift message, forget that. And I, okay, so this does not have boxes. I think that the shipping section probably has boxes. I'm gonna click don't use save package. Like I'm gonna click something that's a different size and I'll just make something up. So I've got 10 by 10 by 10 and it's two pounds, one ounce. And let's see, then you can click save package and they will, and you can put the nickname in it. So 10 by 10 box. Okay. And that will now show up in this list here. 
So if you have a box that you use a lot, and these pretty much are the only things that I send, and it's the only, well, I might send this priority, but these are pretty much the only types of boxes that I mail. So it's easy to just put that in there and use that. And at the end of the day, when you're done with printing all your labels out, go to ship, go to end of day, and it'll say create scan form. I haven't bought anything yet, but it'll say the date and it'll say create scan form. You click on that and then it'll turn to print scan form. You can print that scan form. It'll have one barcode. You can take that to the post office the same day, take it to the post office. So don't do this until you're ready to walk out the door to go to the post office. It will take that every package that you printed a label for on that day, and it'll put it in one barcode. You can take that to the post office. They can scan that one barcode and it accepts all the packages at once. So just do that right before you leave and it'll save you time at the post office and the post office clerks will love you because it saves them time and it's a lot easier. But that's where the USPS end of the day is. If you have any questions about any of this, this is pretty self-explanatory. The only thing you need to know is how it just to remember to copy the tracking numbers like if this tracking number here i would click copy to clipboard and i would go back to my website and put that in as the completed order so here's add the tracking number that's what you do now let's say that i do import from etsy and i buy one label because it's a different size package what happens is everything disappears and you just click import from Etsy again, and it'll bring in everything that has not been purchased. So every time you click import from Etsy, it will bring in everything that's sitting in your Etsy shop that hasn't been purchased yet. And you can choose from those or just click here to do all of them at once. If you're sending everything the same rate, it's very simple. It's not a complicated, you know, program to use at all. And you can use your credit card to buy the labels. So definitely check this out. I'm not an affiliate, so I don't have an affiliate code to give you, um, but it, you know, check to see what the rates are compared to the ones that you usually use. And if you usually use something else that is cheaper, then go with that. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not saying you have to use this, obviously use what's the cheapest service that you can, that reliably gets your packages where they're going, but pirate ship is pretty simple and you get pirate jokes too. And if you have little kids, they will like it. I make my husband listen to them. Because I'm, if I have to be subjected to pirate jokes, he has to listen to them too. That's my law. Okay. Leave me any questions and I will talk to you later.